Where else could a girl from Burlington County, New Jersey, end up a Fox News contributor, author of her own book, outreach director with Freedom Works, hosting for national radio programs. Where else could a girl from Burlington County, New Jersey, do that? Only in America. America is an exceptional country. And it's hard work and perseverance and my faith in God that has gotten me to where I am today. We have more and more people who are depending on government for their everyday basic needs, food, housing, energy. As you mentioned, over 46 million Americans are on food stamps. President Obama's policies are not creating jobs. They're not growing the economy. They're driving more people to the government plantation. Today's government is yesterday's plantation. Too many people are relying on the government. You know, the, the, the government is a bully. How about that? We have the government that is, you know, bullying nuns for crying out loud. Have people have not had enough of what's going on with the government. TSA, NSA, the IRS. I mean, it's outrageous. And it's really time for Americans to take a stand and push back on this massive growth of government. Going after nuns is unbelievable. Yeah. This is about control. The EPA and a, a lot of them are environmentalists. They care about rocks and trees. They don't care about hardworking Americans who own property, who pay taxes. You're a private property owner. You own that land. You pay taxes taxes on it. Why should you be under the EPA's thumb with what you want to do with your land? And so, yeah, I've been criticized and targeted by cowards really hiding behind their computers because they don't like my message. Instead of them challenging me on my message and the data that is out there, they'd rather throw names and, and sling mud. We had the government who was telling people what to do, how dare they, but not only that, we have government that is penalizing Americans for being responsible, and that is something that should be taken into consideration. And thank goodness people are finally waking up because enough is enough. We talk about the importance of vetting uh, Obama and how it was not done by the media. It's really important for the American people to do so. I mean, and when you look at his energy policy, for example, our, our economy runs on energy. It's the lifeblood of our economy. He has a war on coal, a war on fossil fuels. It's, hard, it's hurting hardworking Americans. I mean, government, you know, is not the answer. It's the individual and what we need are policies that are going to grow the economy, cut taxes, reduce regulations. That's what we need coming from our president. And Oprah has lost it. I mean, how racist could America be to be, she's a black and she's a billionaire. You have Obama who's black. He's the president of the United States. How racist could our country be? Oprah is bitter. She is a bitter billionaire. Don't be afraid to be called a racist or a sellout. All the different names that I'm called. If you believe in liberty, and you want to advance our country forward, I implore all Americans to speak out. So to play the race card, I find it to be very irresponsible and dangerous. It's a horrible tactic to use, and it's it, it really, it's, it's just a poor way of trying to relay their message and to attack those who disagree with President Obama. But really, I want people to understand and know that you can be vocal, you can speak out, and you can be critical of Obama's failed policies. And the left has covered all the bases when it comes to the name calling. If you're white, you're a racist. If you're black, you're a token, you're a traitor, you're a sellout. So they've covered all the bases. And I really hope people will be inspired and informed to speak out because it's going to take we the people to rein in this growth of government. Our country does not guarantee you success, but liberty guarantees you the opportunity to succeed.